So I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, the reason for that is is that me personally, especially mentally, I'm not really there when it comes to making videos. Uh, also, I don't really have the time. So I'll only really make videos if I think that it is necessary. And I think this topic I want to talk about right now is very, very necessary. So uh, I'm going to try my best to describe it in the best way I can. I know I'm not the proper best at it, but I'm going to try my hardest and try to go from there. So one of the things that's kind of like a personal weakness of mine is pre-order bonuses. And what I mean by that is, well, I have said for years that GameStop is complete ass. It is horrible. I don't recommend going there at all. But there's always something that makes me go back to it. And it's mainly the pre-order bonuses. And none, the, none more than a game that has come out physically today. Um, also, before we go any further, I'm just letting you know now. Um, not only is Willow chilling in the background, just sniffing at the thing that I want to talk about as well. Um, I am still physical media. And as of right now, nothing's going to make me change that. So don't even waste your time by mentioning, oh, I could have had a digital copy sooner. But uh, back to what I want to talk about is, of course, the physical copy and the complete nightmare I had to go through with GameStop for this game here, College Football 25. Now, as you can see, it's still in the plastic, so I haven't played it yet. Um, I've seen people play it. It looks a lot of fun. I really want to play this, especially because I had grown up to College Football 14. And when they stopped making games, I thought that was upsetting. But I kind of felt like it was the right thing to do as well. Uh, because now, 11 years later, they bring out College 25. And I'm about to play it after this video has been uploaded. And I'll also get my feedback on it. Probably not a video, but like, I'll probably say it in my, in my uh, community tab. Well, with that being said, though, one of the things that I cannot stand was what happened during the process of pre-ordering not only this game... But this locker that comes with it. So this is the homecoming edition of the game. And GameStop, honestly, you fucked up big time. So what do I mean by they fucked up big time besides everything else they fucked up? Uh, also, I'm not going to go over completely everything about GameStop's history uh, as regards to like, how they treat their workers. Uh, trade in values, all the other kind of shit. You've seen it before. I might mention one or two instances of what they're known for. And I'm actually going to move this Blastoise bag right there. Or the bag. <laughs> Picture over there. I put that here so I can talk about that in a second. Uh, or eventually later on in this video. This is also going to be unedited. So if I say something and then I just jump, jump into something else right away. Or I say something that's kind of wrong. I am, my mind is going in 50 places and the editing software that comes to this computer is horseshit. So let's just get straight to it. Um, first off, the main issue right away was that, um, and part of me understands it, but like, this, is one, this is one of the few things like, I understand, but with how today is, it's not as necessary, I don't think. And that you need a GameStop membership in order to do pre-orders. That's been a thing for years. And quite frankly, I don't see why you still have to pay $25 a year for a membership because you'll go to places like grocery stores or around here there's Wawa and probably Sheets, Tim Hortons, Dunkin' Donuts, all these other places where you can get memberships for free. And they keep coming back because not only is it very reliable, but also they get the rewards, again, for free. So why GameStop's still making you purchase it, I'm not sure. Um, so there's that whole debacle to where I had an account, but then they automatically reach, uh, they automatically charge my account to renew it. And I did not like that personally. Now I understand if people are okay with it and I'm perfectly fine. If you prefer the auto payments per year, I do that monthly with my bills. I just want a heads up though on what's coming up. That's why I like with all my bills that are auto paid. I get a heads up going, hey, in five days, this is due, or tomorrow, it's due. I would much prefer to have that than just randomly taking money out of my account just for 
just so they can keep my membership without even asking me first. And so because of that, I canceled my membership. I had a lot of points. They're all gone. I don't care. Because the next problem is I can't even get into my account. I got into my account because I wanted to look into my points. Look at my points. Maybe I can have bigger coupons or maybe there were um, little knickknacks that they were selling just for the points or you get a deal with using your points and all that other kind of stuff. And it's not there. I can't look at it because I don't have the password to my account. Now, I have tried to reach out to GameStop Corporate on this and they have been super unhelpful. Basically, a lady I was talking to on the phone was basically saying, okay, in order to get this fixed, create another account. Don't make it as pro, but create another account. And then eventually, because have the same phone number and the email you want, it'll come together. And I'm like, that's weird, but okay, sure, I'll give it a try. And that was about a month ago. Still, still two different accounts. I tried calling back. They said they'll look into it. Never did. So there's that issue right there. Um, but the reason why I reactivated my account was because I wanted to pre-order College Football 25. And because it was the first one in 11 years, the Homecoming Edition, which again, it came with the locker, jersey, football. And of course, a physical copy of the game. Now, what also frustrated me was the jersey. So, I have not opened this. Like, the only thing I did was take out the little paper that's around it, which I'll show it off because it'll lead to something else I wanted to talk about. Um, and constantly, there was issues with this setup. So, right away, if you've pre-ordered it, you already know. It says it comes with a jersey, but it does not ask for a shirt size. Now... Me being on the bigger side, you know, there's these two. I'm, I'm not going to be ashamed. They're, they're there. Simple. But I would have much appreciated if there was a shirt size chart so that way I can get one of the jerseys that actually fits me. Um, the week of getting the alerts that GameStop sends out, to reach out to us in regards, hey, the pre-orders are coming soon. Get ready because, you know, you're going to be excited for this game. They're trying to really hype you up on this game being ready, especially the version that you bought. So I call the store I pre-ordered from. Now, because this could go a little far, I'm not going to mention the store name, but I know offhand where the store is. I know who the big boss lady is. And that's going to be important for later. So I call the store that I pre-ordered the game. And I had asked, what's going on with the shirt sizes? Some lady in the background, wasn't even the same person I was talking to on the phone. Was like, oh, it's digital only. The jersey's digital only. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I hope it's not. Because if it is, I'm going to cancel this pre-order. So before I did anything stupid and canceled the order, I called corporate again. This time, I called in regards to the jersey. After waiting, like, I want to say 30 minutes, like 20 at first, because apparently there was a wait time, which was already kind of sketchy as is, or that could be multiple people having the same issue. I don't know, but I waited. And then another five-minute wait after I explained what was going on, the guy eventually said, it is going to be an actual jersey. As for the size, we're not sure why that is, even though I'm like, you're corporate of this company, so you should be aware of what's going on. And you don't know why there's no shirt sizes available or jersey size available for your own bundle. But I let it pass. I didn't know if it was maybe something that I'd tell them at the store or maybe... Some other situation came in. I, I'm not sure. So I let that go. I didn't really worry about it. All I know is Friday, which is today, after work, I'm getting the game, coming home, 
playing it. I should be playing it right now. Then today hits. I want to go back to yesterday. On Thursday. Because that was when another game was being released. Nintendo, uh, Nintendo released an NES World Championship Edition for the Nintendo Switch. I got that. It wasn't a pre-order, but I thought it was cool. And my paycheck was more than I thought it was. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go get it. I'll go get it. Why not? And so I went to two different game stops to go pick up this game. And one of the people there happened to tell me that because no one pre-ordered the game, they weren't going to have any copies. What are you talking about? Because I recall like five years ago, and, and this could be me thinking more about the past. It can be that case. I do that periodically. But I remember even five years ago, you could go to a GameStop, even if no one pre-ordered the game, and there's still like 10, 15 copies for the game. Sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on if it's going to multiple systems or exclusives. But none? You got no games. Because no one pre-ordered it. That's ridiculous. So, I eventually, before giving up and saying, screw this, this is ridiculous, I went to a Best Buy, they had the game. Fast forward to today. Despite allegedly getting 34 copies of the game, and a good portion of those were pre-orders. The store I went to had no copies. And at that point. I was just done. I looked at the guy. Now the guy behind the counter. I'm not mad at him. Because... I've talked to him before. He's a nice kid. He was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. I was so furious. Because I had waited for months. And then another guy came in and tried to get his copy. And it was the same thing. I was frustrated to hell and back. And... At the time, I could have cleared my thoughts or I could have collected my thoughts and came up with a plan to kind of get this working. I was frustrated that I didn't know what to do. I'm like, am I really about to pray to God that another store has a copy of this game? Because I'm already having flashbacks to just 24 hours prior with the NES World Championship games not being at any store because no one pre-ordered it. So now I'm standing there thinking, what am I going to do? The guy behind the counter then calls the big boss. He, He mentions to her as big boss. And she turns around and says on the phone, well, we're out of luck. So I said, let me get me, let me get something straight here. Because he had her on speaker, so we can all hear this. Let me get this straight. You're telling me you have three of these. Three of these came in, but no game. No copies of the game. It's just, I don't understand how difficult it was to simply do this. I mean, this is beyond ridiculous. I have no experience working for GameStop, and I could have done a better job at this. If there was an issue, find a way to solve it. And I don't want to hear, oh, you can't just pick it up at one store. Then come prepared with more copies of this fucking game. It's simple. And I thought it was over then. I thought it was over because I called another store. 
They happen to have it. And when I called saying I was at another store that said they had them, but they don't, they automatically knew what I was me- referencing. So the guy told me, and he calmed me down because I was, I was, like, I was quiet for the most part, but like he could tell I'm like I'm like a freaking ticking time bomb about to go off. He said, "Just return your money, get get your refund. You got the bundle. They do sell them separately. They should get the homecoming kit. Come to this store. We'll get you the game." I said, okay. So, I go to the guy. I said, listen, how about this? Return my money. And then I will get the bundle. Go to the other store. And go get the game. I was told that they have it. And they'll put one aside for me. So, he goes, okay. We'll set up the return." He goes, I'm going to have to give you cash. Is that okay? I said, sure. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to argue about cash. But today was different. Because you're telling me there's not enough cash in the drawer. So $7. $7 freaking dollars. I'm trying to grab them all so they don't fall as well as the game doesn't fall. $7 worth. Of the change that I had to set the return up for because you had no games because someone upstairs doesn't know what the fuck you're doing is in fucking quarters. Seven dollars of the return went to quarters. And here's the thing: this is the only thing that I'm. I, I would look at the guy in the counter going, "Okay, that was pretty dumb. I don't know why he did that." I even went to my truck and got two dollars out of my truck. I'm like, here's two dollars, and then I'm thinking, okay, I'll get 160 bucks back. No, he just cut down the two dollars in quarters, gave me back my two dollars, and then gave me the quarters. Are you kidding me? And on top of that, the last thing I want to rant about before I end this video, create a thumbnail and actually go play the game that I went through hell and high water to go get. If you want to go, if you want to be lucky and get just the, the locker set and the game separately, it's cheaper. It's cheaper to do these two things separately. Versus a combo. Because the other thing about combos is. You're going to get a deal for both. So this game is $70. This is $80. The locker, football, and jersey. $80. The copy of the game. Physical or digital as of right now. 70 bucks. So that's 150 bucks right there. And the combo duo goes for 160. They can't even math properly. No wonder your trading values are shit. I just needed to rant. And if you haven't heard from thousands, if not millions of other people, don't go to GameStop. Go anywhere else. Go to Target. Go to Walmart. Support your local mom and pop game shop. Just don't go to GameStop. You're wasting your time. You're going to be wasting your money. You're going to waste a lot of shit. That's all I want to say right now. If you got a copy of the game, have fun. If you haven't yet, don't get it at GameStop. Go get it elsewhere. Have a good night.